Translating words into expressions. The key to solving algebra problems is translating words into mathematical expressions. The two steps to doing this are, number one, taking English words and converting them to mathematical words, and two, taking mathematical words and converting them into mathematical symbols. We're going to practice the second of these skills first, and then the first, and then combine them all. List words that indicate addition. Well, sum, total, add, plus, increased by, more than, or altogether. List words that indicate subtraction. We have minus, difference, take away, less than, subtract, decreased by, less, fewer than, or subtracted from. List words that indicate multiplication. We have product, times, of, twice, double, and multiplied by. List words that indicate division. Divided by, quotient of, half, fractions, divisible by, or divisibility. Be aware of the difference between less and less than. For example, 8 less 3 and 3 less than 8 are equivalent expressions, so what is the difference in wording? 8 less 3 is 8 minus 3. 3 less than 8 is also 8 minus 3. When you see less than, take a second number minus the first number. As a rule of thumb, if you see the words than or from, it means you have to reverse the order of the two numbers or variables when you write the expression. For example, 8 less than b means b minus 8. 3 more than x means x plus 3. x less than 2 means 2 minus x. So yeah, if you see the word than in here, just you flip them and use the minus sign for less and an addition sign for more. The many ways to represent multiplication. How do you represent 3 times a? Well, all of these say 3 times a. We have them in both in parentheses, we have one in parentheses, we have a dot, but the preferred representation is 3a. When a variable is being multiplied by a number, the number, the coefficient, is always written in front of the variable. The following are not allowed. Three times a with an x, because the multiplication sign looks like an x. It could be mistaken for an, an x variable instead of the multiplication sign. And a3. The number is always written in front, so it would be 3a, not a3. How do you represent b divided by 12? Well, you could write it like this, you could write it like this, or you could write it like this, b over 12. Sort the words by operation. All right, multiply, well, that's multiplication. Ratio between two numbers, that's division. Sum of two numbers, that'll be addition. The total will be addition. Less than is subtraction. Quotient is division. Difference is subtraction. More will be addition. Per is division. Fraction is also division, and product is multiplication. Translate the words into algebraic expressions using the red characters. 3 times j, that will be 3j. 8 divided by j, 8 divided by j. j less than 7. Remember, when we see the word than, we reverse the order. So 7 minus j. So this amount, j, less than 7. 7 minus j. 5 more than j. So j plus 5. And 4 less than j is j minus Write the expression, the sum of 23 and m, 23 plus m, the product of 4 and k. Remember, product is multiplication, so 
4 times k, 4k. 24 less than d. Remember when we see than, we switch the order, so d minus 24. 4 times the difference of 8 and j. Here it says, remember, sometimes you need to use parentheses for a quantity. So we want 4, mul four multiplied times the difference of 8 and j. So the first thing we're going to do is find the difference of 8 and j. So 8 minus j, and then 4 times that. So 4 multiplied times that difference. The product of 7 and w divided by 12. So we're going to have a product multiplication of 7 and w, and then divided by 12. The square of the sum 6 and p. So first we take the sum of 6 and p, and then we square it. 